Okay, in this video, we'll be solving this particular problem. The problem is on projection of lines when the line is perpendicular to one of the planes. So here the line is perpendicular to HP. The length of the line is 50 mm and the line itself, the complete line itself is 20 mm in front of BP. And we have to draw its projections and mark its trace if the point D is in first quadrant and the point of C, the point C is varying. Right. So for your reference, I've already solved the problem and kept it like this. First, try, let us try to understand how the line is placed in 3D. So, let us try to understand it with this particular example. So, the line is 10 mm above HP. So, actual line, if you can see, it is placed in first quadrant. It is the point C is 10 mm above HP, and this length of the line is 50 mm. And we are placing it. We are placing the complete line. How much? 20 mm in front of BP. So this gap here is 20 mm. This gap from this point to the HP is 10 mm and the length of the line is 50 mm. So this is how it will be placed and when we take its projection on VP, the front front view will be C dash D dash and the top view of both the points will appear here as D and C because first D is appearing first when we see from top we have to name D as first and in bracket we can name the other point which is overlapping it that is C. So when we are drawing it, we will have to draw it like this because HP when we are getting in 3D, we cannot draw it in 3D so we have to rotate this plane down and whatever plane, whatever points we are getting on HP, they will also get rotated like this and this is how we will get the diagram. So now let us understand the commands used for drawing this particular thing. So I will just draw a line and name it as X and Y. So I'll just take DT command with height of 4 and 0 angle, so X and here I'll just place Y and here I'll just place VP <coughs> and then I'll just copy this down and name it HP. Fine. So now what I have to do is I have to draw this point for C. The C is 10 mm above HP in the first case. So I'll take offset command O enter with 10 distance, it is asking the distance of so feet 10 and then click on the line, click above. And then let us draw a projection line with line command. From the midpoint, I will first join it up to this, sorry, I will join up, up to this and then above this, we have to take length of the line. Length of the line is 50 mm, so I will just feed 50 mm by keeping the cursor in proper direction and press enter. This will ensure the length of the line drawn is 50 mm. Now let us just delete this off. We have the line which is having an endpoint here. So to make the endpoints appear large, what I'll do is I'll just draw a circle, a circle of 0.5 mm radius. Here we'll get another endpoint and 0.5 mm radius. So this is our line. So what I'll do is I'll just add it to the solid layer. So here I've kept some components which are already in solid layer. If you want to know how to create layers and keep all the settings ready. You can watch my other video in which I have explained how to create a template with all these settings. So, next thing is the whole of line is 20 mm in front of VP. So, from in front means you can see here this has to go below XY line. So, I'll take offset O enter of 20 mm and I'll have to take it below the XY line. Next, I'll just extend this line with command EX, double enter and clicking on this line. This will make sure the line has extended to this level and I'll just erase it. Now I just draw a circle of 0.5 mm radius and I will apply the same properties with match properties of the solid. So this point alone is the solid. Now I can just copy paste it with control C, control V. I can place number of points as required and I can double click and name them as required. So this point here we can see it is the front view of D that is D dash. This point is the front view of C that is C dash. At this point both D and C will appear in the top view. So first D and then C. Last point we need to mention is we have to mark the trace. Now trace is the point of intersection of the line itself when it is extended and when it meets one of the reference planes. So if this line when I'm extending it, it is meeting HP at this particular point that is overlapping with the top view itself. 
So when I have to draw it, this point itself is the HT. So I'll just copy this text and I'll keep it as HT horizontal trace. Now, now I'll just dimension it. For dimension, I can choose the linear dimension from here. And after taking that, just press enter. After pressing enter, you just have to click on the line. You don't have to select two points separately. So click on the line and you can see the line dimension is appearing automatically. But here, this line is different. So we'll have to click the two points. So I'll take again the linear dimension and I can click this point first and click here. You can see this is appearing. So let us place all the dimensions in the proper line in the same line itself. So next dimension, I'll place it at the end point and up to the perpendicular place it in continuity. Now I'll have to change all these properties I have to add them to the dimensions uh, layer. So here I have kept some objects which are already having those properties. So I'll just match properties, give the command of match properties and apply the same properties to the all the points, all the objects which I want them, which I want to be in that particular layer. So that is how we solve the problem. Now for the other bits, what we have to do is, we can just copy this and modify it slightly. So let me delete this. First let me explain what happens in 3D diagram. 3D diagram. So the C point is in HP and D is above HP. So what happens here is, the point C is being pushed. So we are moving this point over here to this point. So the point C has come here and D point has come here. So when we do this, what happens is the projections will also move down. The C dash point will come on X, Y line and D will also move down downwards. So I'll just take a copy of this. And what's happening here is this 10 mm gap is reducing. Fine. So I'll just take select this, give move command, M enter and select this end point and keep it here. That's it. So this is the diagram for the second bit. While coming to the third bit, what is happening is the C, the C point is 10 mm above HP itself, but the line CD, we are placing it inside VP completely. So instead of being parallel to VP and 20 mm in front of it, we are placing it completely inside the VP. So technically what's happening in 3D is we are just moving this line over to this point itself. So the line has moved to within VP. And when we take the top view of it, it will come here on XY line itself. And when the plane is rotated, even after rotation, the point will lie here itself. So I'll just take a copy of this problem. And what I have to do is, I'll just have to remove this distance. And this point here, it's moving over to XY line. That's it. So that's how, that's it, that's how it that's how we will be solving projection of lines when the line is perpendicular to one of the planes. Thank you for watching our video. Hit like to the video if you like the video and stay subscribed to our channel for further updates.